Hi, I'm Steve Lampert from Sharon the Saddle. We're joined with Chuck Potter, the founder of Hoofsense. How are you, sir? Good, Steve. Um, I would like to talk today a little bit about hoof capsule distortion. Mm -hmm. So explain some of that stuff for the folks at home. Sure, hoof capsule distortion occurs for many reasons. Foundered horses uh, will see uh, once the bone rotates away from the hoof wall, they get extra flexibility. Right. And over time, that front of the hoof wall can get a dish in it and start to distort and get that toe out there. Okay. That's why a lot of people, when they see neglected horses with the big ski feet, oh, it's foundered. When it's really not, it's just neglected. Okay. And, that, so, and that's hoof capsule distortion there as well. Okay. Um, uh, you get the horses that have the steeper angles, a uh, club-footed horse. Right. Uh, a lot of those you'll see have a dish in the front. And that's normally because the, it's not being recognized that what their problem is, that they do have this club foot and people are trying to match their feet. Okay. So you're putting too much pressure on the toe of the horse by trimming the heel too low. Okay. And that, so you're gonna have too much pressure and you start to get that distortion, that curve in the front of the hoof capsule. A lot of those uh, cases, especially neglect and ones that are let gone just a little too much, mm -hmm. We can trim all that off of them. We just bring, we, we try to trim as little from the bottom so we're not putting them on the soles of their feet. So uh -huh. you get under, clean it, bring the foot forward and actually take your nippers, cut the distortion, use your rasp, reshape it. It's a beautiful foot right. at that point. And then you just remove the distortion and fix the problem. We were talking yesterday a little bit about like uh, flares on the side of the hoof mm -hmm. and one side of the hoof growing faster than the other and one being straight up and sure. down based on load. Explain, right. put a little light on that. Sure, when the horses, when you look at their conformation, their feet are either under center of gravity or they're not. Okay. Okay, so either the hoof capsule's bearing even weight or you're loading one part of it more than another. And it can be either due to trimming, shoeing, or to actual conformation of the horse. Okay. So what we normally see is whatever part is bearing the most weight becomes the straight part of the hoof capsule and everything pushes away from it. So a lot of times, like if you have a cow hawk horse in the rear mm -hmm. and that you'll look and the insides of their feet would be really straight. Right. And they're actually, they're, those are tough to shoe too, you know, cause we have to actually bend the tips of the nail so they come out quicker right. cause it's a straight hoof wall. And, that, and then you have that big flare pushing to the outside okay. that we have to keep dressing back. And it's a confirmational thing. So when we trim, we just take care of it each time. Okay. It's gonna continue to happen because of confirmation. Okay, Chuck, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.